you guys need hair packing, all this stuff. You didn't make the correction from like, you know, 10 weeks from rebuild to now, and now you got like stuff in a big, so how are you going to correct it in less time and get better competition? I guess that's what we all want to know. Uh, you know, it's, I'm not going to say that's not a good question, uh, but I, we're, we are, <laughs> we are uh, we're facing a different type of offense, not for one thing. And I think, you know, some people might be selling blue, uh, Louise and Lafayette a little short of how good an offense they've actually been in the last three years, the top 15 for the last three years. They're a good offense, but you can't allow that. But like I said, what happened at the end of the game, with everybody with the offense running the ball well, with us stepping up and putting a pass rush to seal the game, was something I'm happy about. I have to take, I have to look at the positive of the game and be happy with that, and, and, and uh, come deal with the negatives tomorrow when I watch football. When was the last time you feel like this team played a great defensive game? A, a great, complete defensive effort. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if you're ever, if you're ever going to hear me be completely happy with everything. When was the last time you were moderately happy? Mm -hmm. I don't know. A couple years ago, I guess. And I was moderately happy. I, I was moderately happy with our, our effort against Montana State, but there were still missed tackles. You know, I've said it before, there's going to be missed tackles in wins and losses, but uh, you know, there were some missed tackles today in the win. I uh, can't keep talking about it. We, you know, it's just got to be solved. It's all there is to it. You don't seem very happy then with the defensive effort today. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm happy with the win. I'm happy with some of the production that was that was done by some people, some plays that were made. But there's definitely some issues that we have to solve. You know, and as a guy, and, you know, leader on this team, we have to understand mistakes that need to be corrected. And right now, I'm just trying to be happy with the win. I am. I'm very pleased with the win. Three and one is, is, is a good start. So it seems like frustration at this point. Uh, really, I'm not that frustrated right now. I, uh, I'm very happy with the win. I was I was really really pleased with the pass rush we put on at the end. Uh, I, I feel like we need to do a better job for the offense because we can't have we can't make those guys have to score 40 points every game for a win. So that's that's definitely on us as a defense. You know, I'll, I'll put that on myself and the D. Uh, we know that if you asked any of them, they'd say the exact same thing. So th there's no there's no question of where uh, the fingers pointed at right now. There's you know. There's no lack of the defense not knowing what's going on. It's just a matter of being fixed. You know, how much of it was them? How much of it was you? Coach Prince said this is one of the best running attacks in the country. Well, I think, you know, that, that quarterback is a, is a very good uh, runner. You know, he's a real tough kid. Uh, he's a good athlete. You know, he's not little by any means. He's 6'2", 220, whatever he is. Um, and he runs the ball well. And, you know, they, they did a good job of taking advantage of what we were doing and trying to seal the linebackers. And, um, we were in the spot to make the plays a lot of times, but it just, it just wasn't getting done by us. Um, you know, it's a repeat thing, but um, a lot of you have to give a lot of credit to uh, Lafayette, but we also have to be able to shut down a good team. Because you know, we face lots of good teams in the Big 12. That's what I was going to say. It only, it only gets tougher. So yeah. where do you go? I mean, you guys know you're going to have to step up your play, right? Absolutely. Uh, I have to step up my own individual play. Uh, the, uh, but uh, we all have to play within the framework of the system. And that's the thing. If you guys are doing a good job, then we've got no complaints. And right now, it's, it's you know, there's ups and downs. Ups so. It was enough today, but will it be enough in Big 12 play this time to defend? Performance? Um, uh, not, not with the run. This is, you know, if we face a good running team, this is not be good enough. Unless our offense scores 60 or 70 points. If that big play hadn't worked, were you guys confident that you would have been able to go out and get a stop? Uh, you know, we'd have a couple of conversations as a defense uh, while we were sitting over there discussing things. Um, you know, uh, and uh, talking about what was going on. And it was really a matter of everyone knowing that we can do this and fighting with ourselves saying, okay, we can do this and we went out there. We did it. It was down the field more and they converted and scored, uh, kicked the field goal, which was great. You know, great, great job by Lamar Crown today. Uh, I don't know my comment on the offense, but I'm really happy with how, how they performed today. So, that last uh, long drive by Case, by Case State, um, I think it was about seven minutes before that, the time possession was really skewed in um, Lafayette's favor. Was that nice to finally get like a nice sustained break for the defense? <laughs> to be able to get off the field for a little bit, uh, for a, a little while, is always going to be a, a nice as a defense. Uh, you know, but a, as a defense, we have to do our own part to get ourselves off the field. There were several occasions where we were third and long or medium where we could have got off the field. Have we just made the play? Uh, that was just frustrating. I mean, that's just, that's a very frustrating thing as a defensive player to get consecutive third and longs and not be able to get off the field. They were real successful with the, kind of the quarterback, running back, uh, you know, the, the fake handoff where he takes it the other way. Um, can you describe like why that was so successful today for them? 
Uh, you know, that, that the whole reason that was successful today is because they have a good running, uh, running quarterback. I think he's number one in the nation for running quarterbacks. And we didn't tackle well. You, you put those kind of combinations together, you're going to have a big day. So it was just uh, just a matter of tackling as far as, like, it wasn't like a scheme thing or anything? Like no, you guys were... this, the scheme that the coaches put together for us was very good. Uh, it was very detailed. We, we went over it many times. Everybody knew what they were supposed to do. It's just a matter of doing it. Okay. Regardless of how, how they ran their offense, how they executed, what does it feel like for you to hear the staff in the K-State defense giving up 300 well, it's not, you know, it's not pleasing by any means. But, you know, if, and it's not acceptable. It's not something we can allow day in and day out. But you know, the stat that matters the most at the end of the day is whether we got the winner off. Well, and you guys did the fake punt up by five. Prince had commented that he was extremely concerned about giving the ball back to him because he felt that if he would have punted the ball, that they would have won the game. What are your thoughts on that? Oh, uh, well, I mean, by the way we were performing uh, at, at the moment, we, we weren't performing well enough to, you know, make our offense, the coach have confidence in how we play. Uh, you know, so uh, when the offense drove the ball down and kicked that field goal, so it gave, a, gave them an opportunity, uh, uh, Lafayette, to get the ball back on the following return. And we went out there and we had a fastball situation. We had to get out there and produce a rush because we were only up by eight points. It was still a ball game. And, uh, I think we responded there at the end. What happens to the confidence level of the defense when time and time again they run the same play? They get 10, 12, 15 yards, and 70 yards in all the uh, well, you know, as a defense, you have to try to have a short memory. You can't, you can't dwell on things. You have to learn from your mistakes and, and, and go on as a defense. But the whole point of that is you have to learn. Are you going to do postseason? I'm confident that this, this team is going to have a way to get better. We know we have to correct it. Um, I'm not going to say that, you know, missing tackles is frustrating because it's very frustrating for them. Um, the, the team as a whole. Um, I'm not saying I didn't miss any tackles. I know I missed two. I think back to back, the first score, first or second score. Come on, here. How do you guys do it? It's just a matter of doing exactly what you're told when you're told to do it. Yeah, get to work. Guys, it's a good job. So it's correct. It's very correct. Everybody's there where they need to be. It just has to be done. Ian, you had 10 tackles, though. Talk about how good that felt just to, you know, wrap up the guys and get double digits tackles again. Felt good. Uh, felt good to you know make some plays and, and kind of you know build a little fire in the defense at times and uh, try to get the crowd going. Uh, you already heard it. You know, it kind of felt like old times a little bit. Um, you know, it's just this week that happens where they were going to run a certain kind of plays, which was going to give me opportunity to 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 be there to make the play because. Uh,